3.3 number 15, this is not a difficult question, but it also makes the question more interesting, all right? We can take care of this. Let me show you how. Our function here is x e to the x cosecant x. Keep in mind, this is the product of three functions. We have to use the product rule, and this is how. I will label the x as my f, okay, the red f, and I will put e to the x along with cosecant x in a parentheses, and then together, I'm going to label these two together as g, right? So my f in red is equal to x, and g is equal to e to the x. And let me emphasize, they are multiplying e to the x times cosecant x. And to differentiate f, that's easy, because the derivative of x is equal to 1. But to differentiate g right here, once again, this is e to the x times cosecant x. So we have to use another product rule. That's why it makes this question more difficult, because you have to use the product rule instead of another product rule question, all right? But we can take of this. Let's continue. On top of e to the x, I will label that as my blue f, right? And for this one, it's going to be my blue g. So once again, it's product of two functions, product rule in action. On the side, once again, I will write down f function, in blue it's e to the x, and the blue g is equal to cosecant x. And now we have to just do the usual thing, figure out f prime, that will be e to the x, and figure out g prime, the derivative of cosecant x is going to be negative cosecant x cotangent x, like that. And now, once we have this blue part, this is the ticket, we can use these ingredients to go back to figure out what's the um, g prime in red. So to figure out g prime in red, I will take this e to the x, pair up with g prime right here, which is this. So e to the x times negative cosecant x cotangent x, it will be, let me put a negative first, and then put on the e to the x right here, and then the rest, cosecant x, cotangent x for the first part. And I'm going to add the second part, which is cosecant x times e to the x. And let me just write this, cosecant x times e to the x, like that. And when I have my red parts ready, I can take all these ingredients as my ticket to go back. All right? And now finally, we are ready to go and tackle the original derivative for the f in black. f prime of x in black. Now, I will pair up x times g prime, which is all these entire things. I will just write them down. x, parentheses, and I'll just copy down the inside here, which is negative e to the x, cosecant x, cotangent x, plus, and let's put the e to the x first. So it'll be e to the x, cosecant x like that, close parentheses. And then I will also pair out the g in red times 1. So I will add, the g is e to the x cosecant x, e to the x cosecant x times 1, just like that. All right, to continue, what we can do is, perhaps we can distribute the x into the parentheses. So this is what we're going to get, negative x e to the x, x, e to the x, along with this, cosecant x, cotangent x, right? And I also distribute the x into here, I will get plus x, e to the x, cosecant x. And then this part is just plus e to the x, cosecant x, right? And now, is there anything else that we can do? And once again, if you want to match the answer in the back of the book, this is what I did. So I, we, we noticed that I think all of these terms, they all have an e to the x cosecant x, e to the x cosecant x, e to the x cosecant x. And that's exactly what I did. They factored it out, the e to the x cosecant x, all the way to the front. And we will open the parentheses, drawing the leftovers. The first part is going to be negative x, cotangent x, plus x, 
and the last part is just plus one. And this is it. This is it. That will do it.